Okay, so you're a new guitar player. Welcome to guitar playing. Um, as somebody whose life has been completely changed by playing music, I want to tell you that this can be absolutely the best thing that ever happened to you. Uh, for me, now I'm going to tell you my story. When I was a new player, like you are now, I was 14, I got my first bass, and I was completely excited because I had sort of, I, I sort of came with the ability um, to pick out songs. So I was, I was starting to learn songs on my favorite albums, and I was like, "This is, I am actually playing along with my favorite band." And, um, but I was coming out of a place too socially where, you know, I had a uh, tough time in my early adolescence, and I really found my my self esteem through playing music. Um, as I got better at it, I had something to feel good about. And as I played it in front of other people, they told me I had something to feel good about. And it made me feel like a, you know, a better person. And I, I became addicted, and it grew into something that became a career for me. I ended up touring the world. I played to you know, thousands of people in Japan. And, it's, and uh, I mean, I, I can't even tell you, thinking back now to when I was a beginning student, if you told me that I was going to do all that with... Um, with playing music, I never, ever, ever would have believed you, but this is your first step. You are just starting to play guitar, and um, I want to say uh, I feel really passionately that music can be something that completely turns your life around, so welcome, and today we're going to talk to you about how to find the right instructor. <clears throat> Things can really go downhill really fast, and you can lose interest really fast if you choose the wrong instructor. I'm going to talk a little bit about what the wrong instructor looks like and what the right instructor looks like. So the rest of the video is going to be um, all my stock information on how to choose the best instructor. But uh, I wanted to say hello to you first. You're a beginning student. I'm really excited for you. Let's go. Let's find you the right teacher. Let's talk about how important it is to not choose the wrong teacher. Uh, there's four things really that are at stake if you were to choose the wrong teacher. If you spend a couple years with the wrong instructor, you've spent thousands of dollars. If it's 40 bucks a lesson, you've spent $4,000 or more on guitar lessons. It's dozens and dozens and dozens of hours between lessons and your practice time that maybe you've been railroaded into dead ends and hit plateaus and wondered if you should continue or maybe quit completely. The third thing is results. I mean, how, could, how good could you really be if you were with the right instructor and you were led step by step towards your goal um, and you were achieving it and having to set new goals because you were achieving your goals. So, um, you know, there's, there's the results that you're looking for. And that's a cost to choosing the wrong teacher. And lastly is motivation. I mean, really, you, you could quit. You could hit dead ends. You could hit plateaus. You could wonder why you weren't getting any better. You could blame yourself. You could blame your inborn ability to play the instrument or to music generally. And you might quit. You might say, okay, well, it's not fun. So this is all at stake, and when, when playing guitar can be such a wonderful hobby, and even a career, or even something you can do to perform, sometimes with friends, or sometimes on stage, when it's something that could be so beneficial to your life, um, to watch it just get flushed because of the wrong instructor is a really big shame. So let's avoid the cost of choosing the wrong instructor by talking really seriously about what a good instructor would look like for you. I believe there's six things that you really need to find in a teacher. First of all, does the teacher play and teach music that you like? Um, there are teachers that you'll call and they'll say, yeah, I teach all styles, or their ads will say, I teach all styles. Um, the fact is, you know, I teach rock and rock-based music and then acoustic music, and that's because those are the kinds of music that I like and I play, and my students and I exchange kind of like new artists that we've heard, and that's a, that's a healthy environment, that's one that you should look for. Ultimately, guitar teachers don't teach all styles. There's gonna be one that they're better at than another, and if you choose one that happens to be kind of saying, yeah, I teach that, but they're not really being honest, it's not something that they're into, it's not their forte, um, again, you could be wasting time, money, your results, and ultimately your motivation to keep playing. The second thing I say to look for in a teacher is, do they have experience that resembles the kind of experience you'd like to have with music? So, you know, not every teacher has, you know, toured the world being a professional musician. Um, some are younger, and that's fine. But you want definitely to find a teacher that, from whom 
you can find more than just a teacher of information. You could it could be a mentor, it could be somebody who can teach you all the things that music can be. Personally, I did have a professional performing career, and I actually did tour the world and play shows all over the place. Um, but I did it from the ground up. I really I had my own bands in high school, and we really learned how to get concerts, and we really, you know. So I mean, there's a lot more that I can bring to a student who has those interests um, than you know a teacher who actually hasn't done those things but majored in music in college and is now teaching for her money. So uh, it's good if you can find a teacher who has experienced the kind of things that you'd like to experience with music. The third thing, and it's vital, is does the teacher have experience teaching? Teaching guitar is its own skill. The first couple years that even I taught guitar, there was a trial and error phase. And I think I'm a pretty good teacher now after 10 years, but the first couple years I was doing some trial and error with my teaching techniques and the different ideas I had about what might work with people, the different settings I put people in to like learn new things, new songs, whatever it was they were looking for. Um, sometimes the teacher can be led by the student if the student is like, no, I don't want to do that, and the teacher just doesn't want to lose the student. Sometimes the teacher doesn't do enough of what the student wants to do to keep the student interested. So teaching guitar is its own skill. It comes with experience. You should definitely find a teacher who has experience teaching. The fourth thing you should really look for in a guitar instructor or mentor is what do they offer in terms of lessons beyond information. You need more than information to get good at guitar. If information was enough, then you can use the information superhighway. You can look everything up online and uh, it's true you can find everything online, but putting it in a cohesive order and really learning the right thing at the right time for you is absolutely vital. So. It's not just about information, it's also their approach to teaching that information, their ability to find a way to communicate that idea with you, but also what, what kind of musical settings do they put you in? Are, the, are you able to, to have an experience just like being in a recording studio, or are you able to have experiences with other musicians? Um, personally, I do group lessons with my students so they can get to know each other, and I have a forum so everybody can talk and learn from each other. Uh, actually, studies show that you can learn Sometimes we learn best from the person who's just a level above us, which is why peer tutoring in high schools and that kind of thing works so well, because students have respect for the students just a little above them in the, uh, in the level of what, what it is that they're learning. So um, I apply that to guitar instruction. And there's a lot more that can be offered than just the one-on-one -on -one thing. So you want to find a teacher who can offer things like that more than just information. And that kind of goes hand-in-hand -hand with the fifth thing that I think you should definitely find in a teacher, and that is different musical experiences. And that ranges from the setting that you play in, and that includes with other musicians, like are you able to play with other musicians? Are you collaborating with peers? Uh, is it more than just the teacher and you? Um, and also, as in terms of musical experience, you want to be exposed to new kinds of music without, um, without straying too far from your goals. You want the teacher to help you see how other music is going to help you reach your goals. Um, but if you, and this is a pitfall of teaching yourself, if you're just learning the kind of music exactly and the songs exactly that you want to learn, you're only getting good at one thing, and a teacher might be able to say what your goals are, you told me were this, this, and this, and the kind of music you like is going to achieve this and this, but really to achieve this next level, you want to think about checking out something like this. So a teacher is going to know more in terms of a variety of information and the different kinds that you might have thought of on your own that are going to help you reach your goal. The sixth thing on my list of things that you should find in a teacher is you should find a teacher who has a proven track record of helping students like you reach their goals, get results, and uh, they should have testimonials. You should be able to find testimonials, you know, written testimonials, video testimonials like I have on my website for this teacher that other people like you in your situation have been helped by this teacher to find their way to their goal. And uh, that's going to be one of the most important things you can find in a teacher because it's not going to be the teacher selling themselves to you. It's going to be their students telling you, hey, I had goals like yours, and I reached them, and it's because of this teacher, so you should check them out. So you should be able to find referrals like that on a guitar instructor as well. I'd like you to notice there's three things that I, I did not say that you should look for in a guitar instructor. In fact, I think that students sometimes end up going down the wrong path to possibly quitting guitar because they end up choosing an instructor based on one of these three criteria that I do not think should be on your list.